Hello everyone, I'm Tristan. I'm happy to be here. Welcome to today's TOEIC lesson where we're going to look at two lower intermediate to intermediate level TOEIC questions. Now, before we start, please like, subscribe, share. That's it. Let's get started. Question 109. Okay, this is a tricky question. However, grammar can give us the answer. First, let's eliminate A. When we use in advance, it is followed by of. In advance of noun. For example, in advance of the flight, I had confirmed the departure time. I do not say in advance to noun. I say in advance of noun. Because I have two here, it is wrong. Next, eliminate in order. When you use in order to, it's going to be followed by a verb. And it tells us the purpose or the reason for doing an action. For example, in order to fix this problem, we are going to need an IT expert. Notice it says in order to verb, to fix. Or, I studied for eight years. Why? In order to become a doctor. Notice to become, to verb. So now we have before or prior. The next one we can eliminate is be before. And this is because of the preposition to. You say before noun or before subject verb. We don't say before to noun. For example, before the game, I stretched. That is correct. But I don't say before to the game, I stretched. Therefore, the best answer is prior. Now, what does prior to mean? Prior to means before, but it is only a preposition. It is a more formal version. Let's look at an, at an example. Before I met with the client, I reviewed the file. Correct. Before meeting the client, I reviewed the file. Perfect. Prior to meeting the client, I reviewed the file. But this is wrong. Prior to I met the client, I reviewed the file. Remember, after prior to, you use a noun form. And prior to equals before. Okay, let's look at one other question, 114. Take your time. All right, well, some key vocabulary is innovative. Now, innovative means new, modern, creative. For example, we could say that when they first came out, virtual reality glasses were quite innovative. All right, so we know that word. So let's get the answer. All right, we can see that the blank is describing the verb works. Here, works is a verb. For example, the subject is diesel, diesel engine, and then the verb is works. Because of this, we can eliminate the adjective quiet. We use quiet to describe the noun, but we are describing the verb works, so we need an adverb. So quietly is what describes the verb. L-Y is usually an adverb. So, now we can have quietly or more quietly. If we look at this, we can see then after the initial sentence. After the start of the sentence, we can see then. T-H-A-N. This tells us we are comparing. For example, the test is harder than the last one. The test is more difficult than the last one. The test is less difficult than the last one. Here we have then. At this point then, we need a comparative term. Well, quietly is not comparative. Quietly is just a base adverb. But we need to compare because we have then. So the answer is D, more quietly. Okay, these were two quick TOEIC questions. If you have any comments or questions for me, please write them down below. And everyone, good luck with TOEIC and have a wonderful day.